Welcome to Lab 3. What we're going to be doing in Lab 3 is we're going to be writing our method. Okay? Now remember, a method is just a type of function. It's a type of function for object-oriented programming, which is just a little bit different from what you've done before, but format um, the method is declared very similarly to a regular function. Remember, a function gets what? function gets defined, a function gets called, I mean written, and then it gets called. Okay, you have three things that you have to do for a function. The same thing goes for the method. So what are we going to be doing with this method? The method is going to ask the user a question. It's going to tell them if they're right or wrong, and it's going to give them prize money if they're right. Okay, one thing you need to be you need to keep straight when you're writing uh, when you're naming a variable, any kind of variable, is that um, you've already learned that you cannot use the same name as a C++ command, like you cannot name a variable string, or you can't name it int. So what you need to remember when you're naming a variable, any variable. You can only use characters A through Z, capital letters, and numbers 1 through 9, or underline. So, um, you can't have a long name. Well, uh, you wouldn't remember it anyway. <laughs> don't start with a number, and don't use special characters, like um, quotation marks and that kind of thing. Don't use spaces. So, that's just a little thing to remember. And they just give you some things here. So if you test yourself, you know, which ones can you do? That has a space, right? You can't do that one. All right, this has, um, what do you call it, brackets. Can't do that one. And this one starts with a number, so you can't do that one. So that's what you do. Now the next thing we do is we declare our global variables. Since uh, guess and winnings are going to be used in all the functions and methods of the program, we're going to make them global variables. So we're going to declare them right up here on top, right after the, the standard namespace. So we go all the way back up to the top, and underneath using the namespace standard, you're going to add a few empty lines and type a comment. You're going to write declare global variables. Under that, you're going to type int guest guess. Then you're going to type int winnings for your two um, global variables. Well, now that you've got your global variables out of the way, you can declare your method. So now you're going to declare the ask question method. So you go into the class question right here, right before um, the ending curly brace of your definition. Since the method belongs to the question class, you're going to declare it inside the question class definition. So here we are. We're inside the deck. Uh, the question class definition just before the closing curly bracket we're going to add our ask question function or I'm sorry ask question method it is a function but it's a method I'll point something out to you quickly because we're using global variables we don't have to uh, pass values like we did have to in this um, method before us now that we've declared our method, we need to write it because it's a function. You write, you declare a function, then you write it. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom of our program here, and just before that last curly brace, we're going to write our method here. We're going to make an ask question method. That you're going to add code to this method throughout the lab. So right after the last um, curly brace in your program, we're going to add a few empty lines, and we're going to type void question, ask question, write this method.
Now notice your two asterisks. Now notice it's just like a regular function except that you tie it up with the uh, um, tie it up with uh, your object here, question object. So that's what this does. Now we're going to add curly brackets for the ask question method. And inside the curly brackets we're going to type the line ask the question. So now we're going to type our C out command for just the end line. All this is going to do is going to give us a little space. Next, we're going to add uh, the line, ask a question. Under that, we're going to type the C out end line command. Next, we're going to ask the question. So this is how we do the question. We type our C out, one, then we answer one, the question. So that's what it looks like. You see you have you're putting in the one and then it supplies the answer then you go on to the next line. Now we're going to do the same thing for question two. See it looks exactly the same. You can do a control copy and then just to change it change it from one to two to three. Just be careful. Don't uh, forget your uh, lot. You, don't forget anything. Then you end an empty line. Using these global variables, we're now going to write a method. We're going to write the first part of the ask question method. Then we'll add code to this method throughout this lab. After the last curly brace in your program, you're going to add a, a few empty lines. Then you're going to ask, type your avoid question ask question method, just like this. Now you're going to add the curly brackets for this ask question method. And inside these curly braces you're going to type the line ask the question. And under that you're going to type your C out command end line. All this does is gives you the space. Okay, it just adds a line break between uh, your title screen and the question. Now under that, you're going to type C out question text end line. You're going to write, this is where your, your question is going to go. And now we're going to write each individual question. Here's the answer one. Now answer two is going to look almost exactly like that. Actually you can do a copy paste if you want to. Do one and copy it uh, three other times. And now after this we're going to add an end line. This gives us a space. Remember a, a me method is just another form of a function. We defined our method we wrote our method, now we're going to call our method. Just so we're going to do this um, up right after the last curly bracket of the, um, the main function. So how are we going to call the ask question method? Before the very last curl closing curly bracket of the main function, we're going to add a couple lines and we're going to add, type the comment, ask the question. And the way we do that is just Q1 point ask question. Now here we are on page 9 of 16, one of the first places that asks, first of several in this uh, lab that asks you to check your work, uh, to run your debugger. So what you want to make sure to do is to uh, save your program and then run your debugger. The only thing that's going to show is your title screen and one question. 
So you should see that um, your code will look like this. If um, if it isn't running, just check your uh, your code out with this, and you can see we made our t our couple public statements right up at the top here. We create our instance of the question, make sure that's correct, along with the values. Well, this is from the last lab, actually. Let's come on down. We just did this. We just put in this. You're seeing this curly braces because I have this actually in Microsoft Word, so it's, uh, it's yours is not going to look quite like this. Well, this is all that you have. So at the end, this is what you just added. So just make sure that it looks like the text if you're not running, okay? Once again, you can check out your work on page 9 here of Lab 3 if your code's not working. Now you're re ready to award the prize money. So next what we're going to do is we're going to use the guess and winnings variables in our ask question method. This code was going to uh, will store the player's answer in the question in guess and store any prize money they win in winnings. So first in the ask question method just before the closing curly brackets we're going to add a few empty lines and type the comment ask for a guess. Under that we're going to type our C out. What is your answer? So now uh, we're going. Now we're going to put in our question. What the what the player is going to input. Remember the C in guess. So we're, he's going to store the answer in the guess variable. Okay. Okay. Two lines under that. We're going to type the comment. If the user guesses right, add the prize amounts to winnings. So now we're going to add, uh, we're put under that, our if statement. If what they put in guess is the same as the correct answer. Then we're going to add our curly brackets for our if statement. So I'm going to put our curly brackets and under there we're going to do our C out end line. Just give us some space. So he's, he's answered correctly. So we're going to put a, a comment in there. You are correct. Okay, under that uh, we're going to tell him what he's won for this particular answer. We're gonna, so we're going to type under there winnings. That's uh, our variable is equal to winnings plus prize amount, what he's won before. Okay. That tells him um, what he won altogether. Under that, we're going to type C out. You just won blank prize amount. Okay, so now we're going to tell him his total score. And we're going to give us ourselves another line. So now you're ready to run your debugger. So now I should be able to do to answer. So I can put in an answer. So this is what you should see. Uh, it tells you your total winnings and what you just won. Once again, if your code isn't working for you, go to um, page 11 and you can see 
um, the new text we added should all be in here and you should be able to compare it to what you have here it is make sure that your reads just like this okay so now what do you do if someone uh, gets the wrong answer you have to give them a code you have to code for a wrong answer right so now we're going to tell the user that they got the answer wrong and print their total winnings to the screen so now we got to go into our ask question method and right after the if statement we're going to add an else statement well, what's an else statement remember that is if the if statement is not true you go to an else statement so let's put that in so what are we going to say we're going to put an uh, extra a line in there I'm just going to go coot and line Then we're going to add another coot that says you're not correct. And then we're going to put their, uh, we're going to see out their total winnings. Then we're going to add another space. Of course, the next thing we need to do is debug our code see if we are alright so we debug our code put in a wrong answer and do we get this okay now if your code is not right of course what you need to do is you need to go to page 13 and check this out way at the end what you should have added there's your else statement and your your final lines here this is on page 13 of lab 3 so now it's time to ask another question. So all we need to do to ask our question is just repeat what we did for the first question. So what we do is um, under Q1 ask question, uh, we're going to, um, right here, we're going to add a qu our question. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the question one set value section here, and we're going to paste it down here and change it for our second uh, question. Just copy it all from from uh, the whole question and paste it. Okay, so now instead of question one, we're going to put question two. We're going to add the new question. And we're going to put our answers in. And now your answer should be something other than three. You should change your prize amount too. And now you ask the question. Just like you did for question one. Now to end lab three, what we're going to do is debug our program again. So your second option should work. And uh, if it doesn't look like this, of course, what you do is you come back to your page 15 and check out their code, make sure it matches with yours. Okay. And we are done with lab three.